Have you guys ever thought about selling? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, we're going to talk about items that sold in October on different platforms and I will let you know which platform they sold it on. So I invited everybody in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that looks like this to share their big money bolos, and I'm gonna share them with you. This is a great way to learn, and it helps me, and it helps you, and I am happy to put these in video format for you guys so we can find those bolos. All right, got this in a box lot at an auction with more land of Oz items for $17.50. Sold one in one day, full asking price of $129. Would have gone higher, but no comps. So people looking looking up everything missed this. It is a Land of Oz NC pin button. It is a pin button, you guys. Check it out, $129.99. Paid a dollar at a local thrift store. Took offer of $52 after four months. This wooden hanger was from the Flamingo hotel in Las Vegas. Have you guys ever thought about selling hangers? Um, actually, Dad Planet, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, definitely check him out. He found a bunch of vintage hangers at the Goodwill Benz, and he has a video about that. But yes, they can definitely do well. I will link him down below. So this one is a Flamingo Hotel Las Vegas Nevada wooden hanger, 19 inches vintage. She sold it for $60.75 plus shipping. I'm sorry, she took an offer. Took an offer. I lied. I got sidetracked. Bought this for $3.99 at a thrift store. Listed it and sold it within 10 minutes for $169. 10 minutes. Longitech Harmony 708 device universal TV remote. New and sealed. Bam. Bow low. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. She paid $3 at the Goodwill, sold it for $61 shipped 31 plus 30 for two day shipping on eBay. It's a popcorn adult size Halloween costume. So somebody needed it quick for Halloween. So she probably overnighted it. But that just goes to show you like people will pay up for things that they want. And Piece of Scrap is a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel and you can find her on eBay and Poshmark. And it's an adult popcorn costume. That's hilarious. All right. Vintage Apple Bushel, full of vintage clothespins, bought at a family-run estate sale for $1. Average cost of goods, 16 cents. Listed the basket and sold for full asking price in about a week. Okay, so this is the basket. It is a vintage Apple Bushel basket, and she sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. But here's the best part, okay? It was full of clothespins. She listed the clothespins in five separate lots and sold one lot for full asking price in a few weeks for $24 plus shipping. So it sounds like she has four more lots available. A lot of people use these for crafting and different things. They're nostalgic. There's 65 of them in this lot and she sold them for $24. Um, I have sold vintage clothespins as well. This bundle is different. These are the pinch kind. The ones that pinch, that are hinged. And she sold these for 30. Haha, <laughs> gotta love it. I gotta love it. I have definitely sold clothespins before they do sell. Thanks for letting me post here. My bolo was free to me. I listed it on eBay and eBay set the price. It was not a full set, so I was doubtful it would sell. But to my surprise, it did. eBay set the price. Does that mean, you know how sometimes eBay has suggested price? I don't use eBay suggested price. I look things up, but um, definitely something to consider. It is a giant Tinker Toy plastic. Oh my goodness. These Tinker Toys can be crazy money. If these are what I'm thinking they are, it's hard to see in the photo, but um, a lot of people will part these out um, and they can be big money. So definitely look them up. Okay. These are the big ones, the big ones right there. $93.49. I definitely would have um, quite possibly parted this out, 
um, by pieces because they can go, I, I think these are the ones that can go for crazy money. I don't know if it's Tinker Toy brand. I think there's another brand also. Does anybody know? I can't remember. I know I've talked about it in a hodgepodge video. Um, if you have not seen my hodgepodge videos, there's a playlist. That man is a bolo finder. Check him out. He also has a Facebook group. All those links for him are in the description of those videos. He's fantastic. Pick this up at a church bazaar where all books were a dollar because I figured it would sell for Halloween. No idea this was the American first edition and sells for 100 to 400 depending on condition or 600 with the exclusive dust jacket sold in 10 minutes after listing it on best offer to a book dealer. I definitely could have gotten more if I had been patient, but I was leaving on a trip the next day and wanted to get it out the door before the holiday. Sold it for $113. Oh, I would have done an auction on that. A book dealer bought it. They are probably going to make big money on that one. All right, here we go. I found this brand new Breeders Cup Keeneland racetrack jacket still in the plastic at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for the jacket. I listed it right away since the Breeders Cup race is November 3rd and 4th of 2023. There were none listed for the racetrack in year 2020, and the comps were 75 to 250 for the tracks in years. I chose to list it for 149. I had tons of people watching it, sold for the full price of 149 in seven days. Probably a good item to auction, especially being new and sealed and with that um, race coming up. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nina's Jewels. Check her out on YouTube and I will link her down below in the description. She said, this is a space heater specifically designed for the engine compartment of boats. We bought it at our neighbor's garage sale for $15 and sold it for full asking price of $159.99. I've learned to look up items when I have no idea what they are. Those are the things that make us, we make the most on. And she does. You guys watch her what sold videos. She sells some really interesting things. Her and her husband do a great job. Um, so it's a boat heater, a heater for a boat. <laughs> there it is. Found at the Goodwill for $1.49 each. Listed at $250 and took a best offer of 230 broken figures. That's what I said. If in sets and highly sought after can be worth buying. Keep your eyes peeled. Damaged Nightmare Before Christmas five-piece death set of Disney Store exclusive. $230 for broken items. I love it. I absolutely love it. I found this in an auction lot and cost of goods was probably 50 cents. I had to figure out what it was. This sold in about three hours. I wish I would have listed it higher. Probably would have been a good auction item. Vintage rhinestone clown tassel holder, Shriner Fez tassel Fez shrine circus. What is it? Is it a... Is it a pin? It might be a pin, like a jewelry, like a pin. I don't know. It's missing that information. I got this one in a bulk jewelry purchase. Cost of goods was about $2. This is an Elizabeth Taylor for Avon brooch. I took a best offer of $75 and it was listed for about three weeks. This one comes... <laughs> Oh my goodness. This one comes from Black Dog Vintage. Check her out on YouTube and eBay. And she is also over on Whatnot. Get that $15 to shop on Whatnot with my referral link down below and come follow me also. It's a good time. We have so much fun. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out in the chat. Um, if you want to check out how Whatnot works, I do have some live shows that I keep up under my live show section. So if you might want to sell on Whatnot after you watch those. Alrighty, let's see. So it is a Avon brooch and it is Elizabeth Taylor. There are certain Avon items, jewelry items that sell for big money. I have a video that talks about those Avon jewelry items and what to look for. So definitely check that Bolo category video out. Bought this vintage Alfred Shaheen Hawaiian shirt for $5.99 at the Goodwill. Sold for asking price within eight hours. Sold to the daughter of Alfred Shaheen. What? 
Wow, that is cool. Whoa, $159. Sometimes I'm just delighted by the things I hear from you guys. That is so cool. It's a Hawaiian shirt. I mostly sell ephemera on eBay. Got this postcard in a large lot on whatnot. So I have pennies into it. Sold it for full asking price of $19.99. Buyer left feedback saying their great grandfather was the photographer. Another super cool story. Postcard peanut vendor uh, CA 1890 photo by Henry Bu Buman, Arizona Historical Society. So it's a person who sells peanuts wear a suit and wore a suit made of peanuts. What? Postcard peanut vendor. Man, I would have probably listed that for crazy money. He's wearing a peanut suit and it's a postcard. I mean, it definitely takes the right buyer for sure. Um, really, really fun bolo right there. Check it out. $19.99. Some postcards do really good. Some postcards go for hundreds of dollars. I also have a video on vintage postcards to be on the lookout for. All right. I do have a video about this specifically that has already come out. So you may have already heard the story if you saw that video, but it says a Bolo Buddies update. She said, some of you may remember this bear from about a year and a half ago. Courtney mentioned in a few different, it mentioned it a few different times in her videos. Terry Cloth, my first Teddy. She said, I received in a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. Courtney is who pointed out to me it was a potential bolo. I listed high around 100 and basically list and forget. Now, the fun part about this is she bought it in a dog lot from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Donatella would make dog lots from the plush that had stains or were not sellable and people would use them for their dogs. But sometimes you can find treasures in those dog lots. I'm not sure if she's still doing them or not, but definitely check out Donatella Bottolino on YouTube. And she is now Donatella, Bottol Donatella on whatnot. And um, is it N-E-J-P or N-J-E-P? I can't remember. It's like four letters and I always mess it up. But um. She is also on Whatnot, and that is who sh is sharing this bolo. You can find her information on the actual video that I did. So anyway, she said, all this time later, my eBay listing was marked down to $44, and it sat in a bin with a bunch of other plush. Last week, it sold on Poshmark, where I never bothered to mark it down for $89. I got the attached message from the buyer. Moral of the story and words of wisdom often heard from Courtney List it and forget it. It can work. Don't overlook Poshmark as it will give you a whole different set of eyes than eBay. Absolutely. And Donna's mantra, someone is looking for that. So happy to get it into the hands of someone who has been searching for it. And this is what it looks like. And the feedback says, thank you so much. I've been looking for this bear forever. This is my daughter who, this is for my daughter who has had it since she was born. That is what hers looks like now because she had has had it for 26 years. So thank you. Yes, people look for replacements. Either their child lost it or they just want that nostalgic feeling. So the mother of her 26-year-old bought her a replacement teddy. How cute is that? But she wasn't shopping on eBay. She was not shopping on Mercari. She was shopping on Poshmark for this. So get those items cross posted. Again, I use list perfectly. There's a video down below that shows you how to cross post fast. Get 30% off your first month with Bolo Buddies, all one word, coupon code. It's my referral code and list perfectly is amazing. So check that video out. See if it's something that you could use for your reselling business. Also, Poshmark and Mercari links are down below. You will get money to shop when you use those. Mercari is awesome. They give you $10 to shop and then another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And Poshmark gives you $10 to shop. And those are my referral links. So um, they are linked in the description. So that is a fun, fun story that, you know, it took over a year and a half to sell but she sold it and had it priced on eBay for 44 and sold it on Poshmark for 89. So yes, different eyes on different platforms. It's the truth, guys. I tell you all the time. 
Like a lot of people that are on Poshmark and Mercari, they are not looking on eBay. They are searching on their platform that they sell on. So, all right, here we go. This one, oh my goodness. It says, thanks for all your videos. They are so helpful. I got this Loro Piano jacket at a thrift store. Are you guys ready for this? Are you kidding me right now? I paid 25 for it. I guess the employees didn't know the brand. <laughs> I didn't know the brand either, but I do now. This is what it looks like. Um, try to zoom in and look at that tag, you guys. I have never heard of this brand. She took an offer of $750 for this. It's a jacket, a coat, size 42, USA size 6. Do you guys know about this brand? Paid $25 and sold it for $750. eBay store Fortune 88. Wow. Congratulations on that big money, Bolo. And thank you for teaching me. Thank you for educating me. That is fantastic. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the description for those links that I told you about. Check out the videos down there, the tutorials and different things. And check out the Bolo category videos because you're definitely going to learn because I know I do when I research those items for those videos. There are always things that pop up that I had no clue about. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.